Hello and welcome back. You've probably seen the amazingly realistic AI conversations that Notebook LM can generate for free from any source. But did you know that you can take those audio dialogues and convert them into a video podcast episode? I've covered how to do that in various other videos. However, the methods are often time consuming and involve multiple steps. But I just learned about a new tool that does it all automatically. And so I wanted to share it with you. And I really mean automatically, because it does the whole process for you. It takes your Notebook LM audio and converts it into a video podcast. No need to manually separate the audio or anything like that. It's an entirely done for you process. Here's what it's going to look like. We're going to generate an audio dialogue in Notebook LM, bring that dialogue into Jog AI, which is the name of this tool. And from there, create our podcast video from the Notebook LM audio. And then we'll look at some other ways that Jog AI can generate talking avatar videos from pretty much any source. This is just a two-step process and we can have it done in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so let's get this jam started. So the first step, as mentioned, is generating an audio dialogue with Notebook LM. And our notebook is going to be on the topic of vibe coding. So we're going to input two sources. First off, this video from YouTube from the AI Daily Brief, and then this Wikipedia page, also about vibe coding. So we click Create New to create a new notebook, click YouTube, paste in the YouTube link, that's now getting processed, and then we can also add our Wikipedia page. Okay, so that is all processed, and we can now generate our audio dialogue. This takes a few minutes. Okay, so here it is. Let's have a brief listen. You know that feeling when a new wave of technology hits and you just sense things are about to fundamentally change? Mm -hmm. We're diving headfirst into one of those waves today. Something people are calling vibe coding. Exactly. Yeah, we've been looking at some really fascinating sources describing it. Vibe coding, it's, uh, it seems to be a real paradigm shift in how software gets made. Okay, so Okay, stunningly realistic output from Notebook as always. And now what we're going to do is download our audio. And then we're going to move on to the next step. We come over to the Jog AI website. I've left the link for you in the description below so you can follow along. Just click start creating for free. You can just sign up with your Google account in a couple of clicks and you'll be in. Now once you're in, there are a lot of options here, but what we want is the video podcast. And so just click here and that will load. Okay, so as you see here at the top, we have our sources panel and we have three primary options, which are generate script, upload script, or upload audio. We're going to choose upload audio. We're just going to literally upload the notebook LM output exactly as it is and let Jog AI process it word for word. The audio you upload has to be less than 30 minutes long which is fine for Notebook because the conversations that Notebook generates are in the region of 20 minutes. So let's just click here. You know that feeling when... Okay, and this has a duration of 19 minutes, so that's within the limit, and we click open. Okay, and that was quickly uploaded, and we just hit the next button. So that's generating our script, and that's already done. So now what we do is we choose our host avatars. Now here, we either choose these preset avatar pairs or we create a new pair. And I'm going to create a new pair. So I'm going to click Create New. OK. So let's first of all do Avatar 1. I'm going to click here to select a pre-existing avatar. Now it's important to note here, because the first speaker in the audio is female, then Avatar 1 must also be female. I think I'll choose this lady here. OK, now for Avatar 2, let's try this guy. And another thing to note here, we don't need to select any voices because the point of this exercise is to use the original Notebook LM voices. So just ignore this section here because it actually makes no difference what you choose here. The generated video is going to have the Notebook voices. OK, let's call this Jonathan's Duo. And now we have to choose a theme. I really like the Mountain Lodge. I'm going to try that and generate the preview. OK. And now we have to choose from one of these eight proposed pairs. Or you can generate more, like this. Let's choose this one with a fireplace and click Generate Avatars. OK. 
this will take four credits and submit all right that's an estimated five minutes eta so let's come back in a second okay our avatar pair is now ready and all that's left to do is to hit the render button and sit back and wait for the magic to happen and here's the final output. Just before we go any further, I think it's worth mentioning that this solution still needs perfecting, but I do think it's interesting enough to show you. This is a brand new feature and it's being constantly improved. You know that feeling when a new wave of technology hits and you just sense things are about to fundamentally change? Mm -hmm. We're diving headfirst into one of those waves today. Something people are calling vibe coding. Exactly. Yeah, we've been looking at some really fascinating sources describing it. Vibe coding, it's, uh, it seems to be a real paradigm shift in how software gets made. Okay, so how does it work? Think of it like using natural language. Mm -hmm. You know, just describing what you want to guide these really powerful AI models that are specifically tuned for generating code. Right. So the traditional image, you know, the programmer hunched over endless lines of code... That's changing. It seems to be evolving, yeah. Hmm. So that's the output it gives us. Do let me know what you think of that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just to say, I ended up making three different avatar pairs, and this is the one I liked the most. That's why the avatar's clothes are slightly different. As mentioned, I don't think this is a perfect technology yet, but I know the Jog AI team are working constantly to improve it. However, it is certainly quick and easy, and you don't have to worry about diarization or manual cutting between avatars. All of that is taken care of by Jog AI. Another big advantage of using Jog AI is that you can retain the Notebook LM voices and original conversation, which I know a lot of people want, as the quality is the highest in the industry. Having said that, I want to show you another Jog AI feature which might come in very useful if you do want to change the voices, but at the same time, preserve the original Notebook LM dialogue, as I know a lot of people do because the Notebook LM voices are very widely used. So if you use them too, then your podcast won't sound unique. So the feature I want to show you is the upload script option, which allows you to swap out the voices for any of the voices in the Jog AI voice library. And you can even edit the script to make them say whatever you want. So let's say the original dialogue has a section you don't think is interesting. Well, you can just remove it. Or let's say you think it's missing a vital piece of information. Well, you can just add that in. So now I'll show you that process step by step. Step one is to generate you know a Notebook LM a audio conversation. No need to repeat this step. The audio we already generated will do fine. Step two is to go to Jog AI, click on the video podcast section again, and this time choose upload script instead of upload audio. We select our audio source and wait for Jog to process the audio and extract the transcript. Step three is to revise the transcript, check for errors, and make any modifications you desire. I'll just modify this part here for purposes of demonstration. Step four is to choose or create an avatar pair and select the voices you want to use. Adventure awaits those who dare to follow their dreams. Welcome to a smarter tomorrow, powered by innovation. Then the final step is just to hit the render button so the final video is generated. And here we have the final output, and we can watch it back. You know that feeling when a new wave of technology hits, and you just sense things are about to fundamentally change? Oh yeah, sure. What did you have in mind? We're diving headfirst into one of those waves today. Something people are calling vibe coding. Exactly. Yeah, we've been looking at some really fascinating sources describing it. Vibe coding. It's, uh, it seems to be a real paradigm shift in how software gets made. Quick heads up, I've added a few free resources in the description. You'll find a complete guide to this video, a complete chat GPT course from beginner to advanced, and last but not least, an AI tools guide if you're still figuring out the difference between chat GPT and Copilot, for example. I call this my AI tools ecosystem. All of the above is free. 
So we've seen how to generate a video from the Notebook LM Audio, both keeping the same voices and changing the voices. However, I want to mention that Jog AI allows you to make a video out of any podcast audio, not just a Notebook LM Audio. So for example, if you publish podcasts, whether real or AI, by using Jog AI, you can generate a video to accompany your podcast episode to publish on video platforms to expand your reach. I'll show you what that looks like. I have here a podcast episode I made on Jellypod, my favorite AI podcast generator. If you don't know Jellypod, then see the video that appears on the card now. Jellypod is an all-in-one AI podcasting platform that takes care of your script, your virtual hosts, generating the audio, publishing, and distribution, all in minutes. All you have to do is feed it your source information, just as you would with Notebook LM. It's well worth checking out. And you'll find a link in the description below, which will get you 15% off any Jellypod plan for the first year. Anyway, let's have a little listen to the episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Cosmological Conundrums. The concept of a warp drive is one of those ideas that blurs the lines between science fiction and theoretical physics. Essentially, the ship doesn't move through space in the traditional sense. The space around it moves instead. Right, it's like surfing. You're not the one moving through the water. You're riding the wave that's pushing you forward. But instead of water, it's space-time doing all the work. Precisely. Okay, so now to generate a video from this podcast. Step one is to generate our podcast episode. I already have mine prepared, but you generate it however you would normally do it. Step two is to go to Jog AI, choose video podcast, and then choose upload audio. Select your audio file and click the next button. Step three is to choose your avatar pair, just as we did with the Notebook LM audio. In this case, as the male starts speaking first, I can choose any of the pre-existing pairs. So I'm going to choose Trevor and Catherine here. We don't need to select voices because we're generating the video direct from the existing audio. And anyway, I created my hosts to my custom specifications within Jellypod. So then all that's left to do is to hit render and wait for our result. And here it is. So let's take a look. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Cosmological Conundrums. The concept of a warp drive is one of those ideas that blurs the lines between science fiction and theoretical physics. Essentially, the ship doesn't move through space. The space around it moves instead. Right, it's like surfing. You're not the one moving through the water. You're riding the wave that's pushing you forward. But instead of water, it's space-time doing all the work. Precisely. And this idea got its first serious theoretical foundation in 1994 with the Alcubierre drive by creating what we call a warp bubble. Inside this bubble, the laws of physics, as we currently understand them, remain intact. Okay, so the spacecraft stays in its own little safe zone, kind of like a, like a force field bubble. That's pretty cool, but there's a catch, right? Well, yes. The theory hinges What did you on think of that generation? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion. The last thing I want to show you is how Jogger AI can generate talking avatar videos from pretty much any source. If we come back to the video podcast section again, then you see the generate script option is the option that's selected by default. And below the generate script option are four different source types, i.e. website, YouTube, PDF, and long text. So that means you can provide any web page URL or YouTube video link, and it will get processed by Jog AI. You can also provide a PDF or just paste in simple text. It's important to bear in mind, though, that this feature doesn't produce a word-for-word -word video from your source. What it does is create a video based on the source, but with an original dialogue. Also important to note is that you have to set the duration of your generated video, and the max length of the generated video is 5 to 10 minutes. So if your source is longer than that, it will be summarized. So the process is as follows. Step 1. Prepare a source. I'm going to prepare this video of mine about Jellypod. That's where Jellypod steps in. Step 2. Go to Video Podcast in Jog AI. Choose Generate Script. 
choose YouTube as the source type and paste the link. Step 3. Choose language, video duration and turn duration. This is how long each speaker should talk for. Step 4. Click the next button and wait for the script to be generated. Step 5. As before, choose an avatar host pair and select your voices. Step 6. Send the video to be rendered and sit back while the magic happens. So let's take a look at what Jog AI has given us. So have you seen all those podcasts made with Notebook LM lately? They're freakishly realistic. People are literally uploading AI convos and calling it a show. Yeah, it's kind of wild. But have you tried customizing one? Total nightmare. You can't change much. Scripts fixed, voices are limited, and forget about making it sound like you. Uh, that's where Jellypod flips the script, right? Full creative control from content to host voices. You can even clone your own voice. Exactly. Imagine a podcast where the host sounds like you, thinks like you, and delivers exactly what you want to say. That's Jellypod. And there you go. We have our video podcast ready to go. And this process is the same for all other source types. And that's your crash course on how to automatically generate talking avatar videos for your Notebook LM or other podcasts. If you don't have time to manually produce talking avatar videos from your audio podcasts, then Jog AI could really help you out because in just a few clicks, you have your talking avatar video podcast ready to publish. Just a note on rendering time, Jog AI gives paid users about half an hour of priority rendering time. So that first half an hour is very fast. After that, it will vary. Now, just final thoughts about the overall quality. The first video we did, which was directly from Notebook LM, is the one that had most of the issues. The other three, because they didn't come directly from a Notebook LM audio, were smoother. And I think the reason for that is that in the Notebook LM audio, there are a lot of interjections. So that's when the other speaker says, mm-hmm. And it's, it's a very short change from one speaker to another and perhaps even overlaps. And that seemed to be the issue, the thing that was causing the, the first video that I showed you to have those strange effects on the cuts. It didn't seem to be able to handle that quick cutting. Whereas the other three videos were a lot smoother. That may have happened occasionally, but not as much. In any case, uh, this is something that is improving rapidly. So watch this space. Now, Jog AI doesn't only do video podcasts. It has a whole array of features. So I invite you to check them out. But did you notice that in the video podcast section, there's an option to add yourself as one of the avatars? So that could be a very interesting feature. And I know a lot of people are asking about that. I'm actually doing a video on that. So if you want to see the results of that video and how that turned out, then we'll be coming up on screen now when it's ready. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.